Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are over here once again on Manga's account. If you guys saw a previous video about the Volcanian opening, we were over here on Manga's account to obtain Volcanian support. And one of the things that we talked about was about his Thunder set that should be upgraded to Cinnabar. So today what we are going to do is exactly just that. We are going to upgrade this Thunder set over here up to Cinnabar and refine it in order to get some power on his sword. Also, we are not picking a random day to do this. Manga wanted to refine today because, well, on the Diamond Burning event, it actually has items that benefit him. More specifically, this mysterious hidden machines, which are usually expensive to obtain. So if he ever wants to just break through another Pokemon and get new skills on his overlords, well, it's better to just save items now than trying to buy the items items later. So as usual for this game, you always have to plan your stuff ahead. Let's go over here to the Thunder Gear and what we are going to do is using Red Lotus Lava and also these items over here which is Red Lotus Stamps. We want to upgrade a Thunder Set to Cinnabar, but a Thunder Set requires 100 for each piece of the set. And if we are using 3 pieces for a full set, that means that we will need a total of 300 of each pieces, Red Lotus Lava and Red Lotus Stamps. But the 300 only applies for Thunder and Ho Ho Set, imagine that you want for example to upgrade the Regigiga set, you only need 50 of each piece so it's a total of 150 for a full set. And one of the things that I want to tell you guys about is never do just one single piece. If you upgrade one piece to Cinnabar, you lose the whole effect of the set itself. So for example, for those who know, Thunder set, it has a chance to deal extra damage, right? Imagine you upgrade just one piece to Cinnabar, you lose that effect. You lose the in-battle speed, you lose everything that you see over here. So if you ever plan on upgrading to Cinnabar, always just save up for the three pieces like we are doing today. We are already ready so we are going to quick place because right now I know that these platinum items are not being used anywhere. And if the quick place is selecting some platinum item that you don't want, just just switch it like this, you know? One last look at the sword's stats. We are 20,383,000 power with 134k speed and 743k physical attack. If you recharge with the Aptoid user Using my code NEV1, you will be getting an extra on your recharge as well. So in other words, you will be saving money and if you want to check more about it, just check the link in the description, there's a video explaining every single thing about it. So we are going to remember that power and we are going to upgrade the set first. We are going to do the quick place over here, so upgrading our first item, boom, our thunder pendant. And now let's go for the boots. We always select this, don't forget to select this, okay? quick place it's selecting our plus 100 items but it's okay because those are not equipped into any pokemon and we upgrade the boots as well and last but not least let's go thunder heart and making sure that this selecting the item that we want and boom we have our first thunder cinnabar piece and it's actually the first cinnabar of this account and because it's the first set that we get we also get a reward let's claim we have a couple of those items we will just see what those are for in a little bit now of course because of the upgrade it gets detached from the pokemon so let's just go over here and equip the cinnabar set now, you guys might be wondering, like, what happened to the plus 100? What is going on? Uh, did the set lose the plus 100? No, technically no. Technically, it's already there. You see, like, this plus 500%, it's basically the same thing as the platinum items, right? So technically, when you upgrade to Cinnabar, you are not losing anything. Everything that you get is beneficial. And as you can see, just from the upgrading, we already got some power, but we are not done yet. When you upgrade your gear to Cinnabar, it means different things. First thing is that you have more stats. If I go and pick a platinum item over here, you can see the limit of the stat. Your max HP can only be 16% over here, but if we go and pick a Thunder set, which is Cinnabar right now, the max HP is 20%. And remember, this is multiplied times 5 or something like that, so it's a big difference. So let's start over here with the Pendant and let's refine this and try to get a better percentage over here for our sword. Thank you. 
Now, when I'm refining something for these Pokemons, you can always check what is the possibilities of each stat. And what I'm aiming for right now is to get a good physical attack on the third one, because the first one only has two options, and the third one, like, has four different options. So you have a better chance of getting a good physical attack percentage on the first one compared to the third one. So if we get a third one that is good, I'm going to lock that. Okay, and speaking of the devil, we have a physical attack 12.9%. Even though the first one is special attack, I will not care, okay? I will just click on new attributes, okay? I will lock physical attack. Right now, we lost stats, 100%. But our goal now is to get better stats with this one locked. And okay, we have the first good one. Uh, hmm. We did get more power, that's for sure. But I'm not enjoying the other ones like too much. I, uh, you know what? I'll give it like five more tries. Just, just five more tries. Nothing much else. And honestly, I am already liking this one a lot because we are getting speed, which is almost like max speed. Are we getting a lot of HP? And we are losing physical attack. We are losing a lot of physical attack. Hmm. Should I keep this one though? Okay, and even after asking the opinion of Manga, we decided to go for this new one. And personally, I would do the same, because I really enjoy the HP and it's close to the maximum amount, right? And we have speed. Speed is always welcome. So right now we already have a decent one over there. Let's go to the Thunder Heart. Now, over here we can improve a lot. We have speed on the last one, yes, sure, but we can improve a lot. What is our goal over here? First of all, we already achieved one of the goals, goddamn. <laughs> We already achieved one of the goals, which is... Uh, but let me just show you guys and explain. Let's go and check our possibilities, right? First one, only HP. So we never want to lock this one because we always get HP. We could always just refine for something else. But the other two, they have a chance of getting like random stats and only one chance for, of getting the percentage one. And right now, 20% on the first try. It's insane. So our goal right now is to possibly get a solid percentage physical defense and a solid percentage HP. Let's just uh, roll a little bit more. My God, honestly, right? I swear at this moment, I just want to say that I, I don't want... <laughs> It's like, I don't care about the physical defense anymore because we got a lot of physical attack and... But the physical defense might be needed against other swords and shields. So we just rather go and search for that percentage physical defense. Also, I want to say that today we are not going for like the amazing perfect stats, okay? We are going to try to get our best with whatever we can. Right now we have like the, a decent physical defense. I'm actually going to click on the new attribute. We might lose a little bit of power because HP is the thing that provides the most power in an account. But we are going to try and get a solid percentage physical defense like this. Okay, we, let me see, let me see, let me compare. Well, we have 0.8% uh, more HP, 2%, uh, we lose a lot of uh, physical defense and exchange of special attack. This is hard because we would need to go like in depth technical to see if this is worth or not. I feel like it is worth because of the HP will give us more power. Uh, you know what? I'll click on new attribute uh, just to prove my point. Okay. We would get more power. I will just try a couple more times and see if we can get something. Let's go. Okay. Now it's done. It's done. We are not going to touch this anymore. A little bit more HP, a little bit more physical defense, and we are switching the special attack for physical attack. So we are going to keep this. Keeping in mind, it's a sword. So we want that physical attack. But now over here on the boots. Now these boots were crafted in a very special way, which allowed him to get a thunder boot with speed on the last stat. So this is something not everybody can do. This is something that is really hard to obtain. So at the start, we are going to lock this one. So we need basically to praise the gods in order to get a better speed. Now this will be hard without locking, Okay, never mind. Uh, you guys can, can ignore what I was just about to say. Okay, we, we basically just got better at the first try. This, this, uh, I don't know. Some people might call it YouTuber luck. Yeah, um, but I have no idea what's going on. 
And look at this. Look at this. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, wh what? This is amazing. This is beautiful. We are going to keep it like this. Look at that. Oh my, <laughs> holy. Okay, this was indeed the luckiest boots I've ever crafted. Keeping in mind the amount of diamonds that we spent, which was like 500 or something like that. So let's go for the second part of the Cinnabar now. So those were the base stats that we usually refine even on the Platinum Gears, right? But now we have Enhanced Refines, which is what we are going to take care of. On the Enhanced Refines, what I like to say is this third stat is always speed. Always needs to be speed. The second stat usually only has two options, so we need to select the best option. The first stat is the least important. So that's what our main focus will be. Last stat has to be speed speed but of course if i get something else like very very good on the other two stats and i don't get like speed on the third stat that will depend because i don't want to just drain the di like all the diamonds of the account right now if you are thinking about making a cinnabar set you need to have like at least around 10,000 to 15,000 diamonds to have something of a solid refines happening in your cinnabar gear Okay, we got our first speed, but I personally prefer to be over 400, and the other stats kind of suck. So I'm still going to continue and refining. I also personally love... Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have four, 474 speed. I'm going to keep this one. I also personally love HP on my sword because I get a lot of damage reduction on my sword so HP benefits a lot. Now as you can understand we can only lock one right so we are going to lock the speed because it's actually amazing keeping in mind that the max is 500 so we are really close to the max and now we don't want special attack right we want physical attack that's basically our main goal right now it's something like this and we are not even going to touch it anymore for now. Let's go to the thunder heart and we are going to apply the same logic but over here, um, you know what? I said before that I like to have more than 400, so I'm going to try like, I don't know, I'll give it five tries to see if I get a bigger number than that. But honestly, I will just keep this one for Manga. What I will do if I don't get more speed and like three more tries or something, I'm basically just training his diamonds, it's okay, I, I hope he doesn't get mad at me. We just lock the speed, okay? And let's get a better numbers on the other two. And then Manga can decide what he wants to do on his account better. Our main goal, I would say it's mostly special defense than physical defense. So, and as I said, I value this second stat more than the first one. So I'm not really going to lock that one. Okay, we hit the wall where I'm not 100% sure on what to do because this speed number is quite high and we have some physical defense you know what i will keep this one for now and that will also depend on manga because if he's struggling against special attackers against black and white curums he will most likely just come over here and try to get a little bit more special defense but for now we will keep the physical defense and we will enjoy the speed let's go back to the boots and now finally the boots are the big ones look at this now we already have a big amount of speed on the second stat i am really really tempted to lock that one but we will just try our luck first we will try our luck first and we have to pay attention to the last two stats to see if we get like a higher amount of speed and okay okay well um Honestly, I will have to lock the middle one. I really have to lock the middle one. 726 speed, that's that's amazing. And that's a base stat speed. So that's the thing that I care about the most. Even though we are getting speed on the first one, I don't care. I need speed on the bottom. That's like my main goal. It needs to have speed on the bottom and hopefully above 400. If I don't get above 400, if I get 300, then whatever. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we get almost maxed, even though we got special attack. Okay, we don't really need special attack on sword, but we get a lot of speed. That's actually a lot of speed. And before we finish this, before we check sword's stats, there's one more upgrade that we can do. 
which is amplifying or basically enhancing or basically upgrading the cinnabar itself which can also achieve to the plus 100 so there's like even more stats that you can earn and this basically just will just amplify the stats that we were just refining a while ago now we can just upgrade this and as you can see you can see our stats rising we upgraded one piece to plus nine and you can see over here the difference the benefits that we get and also we can see that at plus nine we are required to just sacrifice another material what is this material over here yes it's another platinum item now i'm not going to sacrifice anything this will be manga doing uh, later on his account so what we are going to do is that we are going to upgrade at least the other two pieces to plus nine and here we go upgrade completed and finally let's check our stats i will put the comparison side by side on the video so that you guys can see and understand and just compare and see how much the cinnabar a well-refined cinnabar not it, this is not like completely like perfectly refined cinnabar but you guys can understand the difference in power and difference in stats that the cinnabar gear can make so this is it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video Start.